Our 22nd project was Spanish artist Santiago Sierra in 2010. It was at the Gallery of Modern Art in Brisbane in the new building and the architecture of the gallery was really very suitable for the project. It was also our first project in Queensland and it was very appropriate to have it there. Santiago spent 14 very formative years in Mexico and in his words it was the greatest influence in my life. He also spent some time in New York and I met him through my friend, curator and gallerist Jeffrey Deitch, who previously helped me with Jeff Koons, with Vanessa Beecroft, so we go back a long way. And he did a project with Santiago, which really appealed for me, and I wanted to bring it to Australia. And Santiago was very keen to come to Australia to explore the possibilities here. Essentially, Santiago is a sculptor, but he, through his art, grapples with very contemporary social issues. The oppressed, illegal migrants, unemployed people, which he really experienced while working in Mexico. In Brisbane, there were seven forms, seven wooden beams, six meter long, 60 centimeters square. They were attached on one end to the wall of the gallery. On the other, they were held on the shoulders of men and women. Santiago insisted that for this work, the people who were part of the sculpture were unemployed workers. And in America, they were just picked up from the street and they were paid a pittance to stand all day holding those beams. In Australia, of course, we couldn't do it, not at a state gallery. We had to have social security. We went through an employment office. And yes, they were unemployed, but we had to pay the minimum wage they had to have tea breaks, lunch breaks, health and safety. So all the good things about the Australian system. So the work didn't have the strong message of exploitation, but it still had a great poetic quality, a combination of a very minimal sculpture coupled with the human participation, basically doing, if you like, useless work, theoretically exploiting them. But in Australia, they were compensated for this exploitation. But it worked very well. Early in the morning and in the evening, when the beans were just resting on the floor, it looked like beautiful, minimal sculptures. Santiago was a, to say the least, an interesting character to work with. He was very, not shy, not withdrawn, but full of complexities. He didn't want to be photographed, he didn't want to be interviewed, but if photographed, he wanted to be photographed from the back. He did enjoy his glass of wine, his second, third, fourth glass of wine, in fact, in the evenings, and was, well, you had to look after him. He was a chain smoker, and in Brisbane, we managed to find a motel with a balcony so he could smoke on the balcony. But he also smoked in his room, which led us to several finds after he departed into cleaning the rooms. But it was a beautiful project, a very strong project. And subsequently I've seen works of his in Europe, where again he combined the human element with sculptural forms. 
and it's a great formula and a very contemporary way of expressing what he felt very strongly about.